Kenneth Copeland, The Antichrist, Embodiment of Evil, Beware the Smooth Talkers, Skepticism and Critical Thinking. Kenneth Copeland embodies the traits of both an assertive alpha and an independent sigma male. Wielding charisma and influence as a religious leader. However, his actions, characterized by lavish living and manipulation of his followers, reveal a darker side. An element of toxicity that taints his image. Exploiting the vulnerable and peddling promises of prosperity while living extravagantly casts a shadow of evil over his leadership. Highlighting the dangers of unchecked power within religious circles. In today's world, where the line between faith and fraud can often blur. Figures like Kenneth Copeland stand out as glaring examples of individuals whose actions raise serious ethical questions. Kenneth Copeland, a prominent televangelist and proponent of prosperity theology, has long been a controversial figure, with critics accusing him of exploiting the vulnerabilities of his followers for personal gain. In this essay, we will delve into the dubious moral character of Kenneth Copeland and examine how he has leveraged his position of influence to prey upon the feeble and gullible minds of those who trust him. At the heart of the controversy surrounding Kenneth Copeland lies his embrace of prosperity theology, a belief system that teaches that material wealth and success are signs of God's favor. This ideology, often referred to as the prosperity gospel, promises followers of health and promises of wealth the promise of happiness in exchange for their faith in him and financial contributions. While proponents argue that it offers hope and empowerment to believers, critics view it as a cynical distortion of Christian teachings, one that prioritizes greed and self-interest over compassion and humility. Kenneth Copeland has built an empire on the back of this controversial theology, amassing immense wealth and influence through his perverse ministry, with a net worth estimated to be in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Copeland lives a life of luxury, complete with multiple mansions, private jets, and luxury cars, while he justifies his opulent lifestyle as a manifestation of God's blessings. Many see it as a blatant display of greed and excess, particularly when contrasted with the struggles of his followers, many of whom live paycheck to paycheck. What is perhaps most troubling about Kenneth Copeland's conduct is the manner in which he targets and manipulates those who are most vulnerable. His televised sermons and fundraising appeals often target individuals who are facing financial hardship or health crises, promising them miraculous solutions in exchange for their financial contributions. This predatory behavior preys upon the desperation and hope of those who are most in need, exploiting their faith for personal gain. Moreover, Kenneth Copeland has a long history of controversy and scandal, further underscoring the dubious nature of his moral character. From allegations of tax evasion and financial misconduct to accusations of false prophecies and divine healing scams, Copeland's track record is riddled with ethical lapses and questionable behavior. Despite facing scrutiny and criticism from both within and outside the Christian community, he has shown little remorse or accountability for his actions, instead doubling down on his claims of divine authority and infallibility. In light of these damning revelations, it is clear that Kenneth Copeland is a prime example of someone who has forsaken moral integrity in pursuit of personal gain. By exploiting the feeble and gullible minds of his followers, he has enriched himself at the expense of those who trust him most. His embrace of prosperity theology has turned faith into a commodity, reducing spirituality to a transactional exchange of money for blessings. In conclusion, the case of Kenneth Copeland serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked religious authority and the exploitation of faith for personal gain. His dubious moral character and predatory behavior highlight the need for greater accountability and transparency within religious institutions. As long as individuals like Copeland are allowed to operate with impunity, the vulnerable will continue to be victimized, and the true message of compassion and humility will be obscured by the pursuit of profit. It is incumbent upon us all to challenge and confront such abuses of power, lest we become complicit in perpetuating them. Even if you're not particularly religious, there are some teachings from ancient texts like the Bible that can still offer valuable insights. For example, there's a passage where Jesus warns about people who might try to deceive others by claiming to speak for him. Let's take a closer look at what this means in everyday life. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 5, Jesus of Nazareth warned his disciples about false prophets and deceptive leaders who would arise, saying, For many will come in my name, claiming, I am the Messiah, and will deceive many. This cautionary statement underscores the importance of discernment and critical thinking when evaluating religious leaders and spiritual teachings. 
Jesus's words serve as a poignant reminder of the prevalence of false prophets and charlatans who exploit the name of Christ for their own selfish purposes. By invoking the name of Jesus and claiming to represent him. These individuals seek to deceive and manipulate unsuspecting believers, leading them astray with promises of prosperity and salvation. Kenneth Copeland's activities and teachings echo this warning from Jesus. Despite claiming to be a follower of Christ and a messenger of God's word, Copeland's actions often seem more aligned with personal enrichment than with the selfless service and humility exemplified by Jesus. His embrace of prosperity theology, with its focus on material wealth and success, stands in stark contrast to the teachings of Jesus, who emphasized love, compassion, and the pursuit of spiritual riches above earthly possessions. Furthermore, by leveraging his status as a prominent religious figure, Kenneth Copeland embodies the type of individual that Jesus cautioned his followers to be wary of. Like the false prophets described in Matthew 24, Copeland proclaims himself as a messenger of God, promising blessings and miracles to those who follow him faithfully. Yet, behind the facade of piety lies a pattern of exploitation and manipulation as evidenced by his lavish lifestyle and questionable fundraising tactics. In light of Jesus' warning, it is incumbent upon believers to exercise discernment and critical thinking when evaluating the claims and actions of those who purport to represent him, rather than blindly following charismatic leaders who promise worldly salvation for money. The statement about Jesus' warning of false prophets is like a caution sign against trusting someone just because they seem convincing or say they have special knowledge. It's a reminder to think for yourself and be careful about who you believe or follow. Whether they're talking about religion, politics, or anything else. Basically, don't believe everything you hear without questioning it first.